so like um um crossroads uh, um terraplane blues mm -hmm. another one that's on there. <laughs> So it's like you're uh, you're over the fifth fret and the two strings you're holding down, mm -hmm. and you you're just gonna move it to this and. begin to find that there are patterns that reemerge from one song to another that yep. they can kind of you can use, use in various different places in different yeah. songs uh -huh. um, in an open tuning you know to know that <laughs> uh, I played some shows with Bucka White early on in my career and I got to play actually with a lot of the originators who were being rediscovered in the early 60s uh, um, and Bucka White was one of the guys I got to work a lot of shows with at the Gaslight mm -hmm. and um, college theaters and stuff you know, over the years. Anyway, I, I worked up a little version of uh, Jitterbug Swing. So, <laughs> Listen to But I like that um, when you're playing it. Almost it, again, it's like a C shape there. But yes, you, but it's a little. So, so it's that it's that fourth position right. or the D.
That's on a recent CD, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. It's yeah. on uh, the, the last one, which is uh, Ready for Love. Uh-huh. All right. Um, yeah, that's got a great groove to it. Yeah. it's. You know, you know who I first heard playing that song, other than Bucko White, was Jeff Moldauer. Oh, yeah? And he put a hole in it, man. He was so phenomenal. <laughs> yeah. I admire Jeff big time. 